Hello everyone. Today I am doing a favorites video. These are items I purchased in December and January. They range from jewelry and makeup to accessories, tops, sweaters, jeans. Um, I think there are about 11 items. The first one is this pair of statement earrings. Now these exact ones are not available but I wanted to talk about statement earrings. These are a one and a half inch length of a dangle. For this video, I'm going to show how I wear these with a dressy outfit, but these would look good. These are a one and a half inch. I think they look great with a dark wash jean, black boots, and a white crisp button down shirt, uh, leather jacket, black leather jacket, or, or sweater, or, um, a black cashmere sweater, black turtleneck. So these could go casual or dressy. And I just think they make any outfit more interesting and more fun. Definitely very feminine. Um, whether you're doing gold or silver, it doesn't matter. I do both. My second item is this pair of boots ankle boots, particularly in the color of cognac. I would say these are cognac. I guess some sites might call them light brown, but I just think this is such a great color in shoes, boots, handbags. These are by Aqua Talia, Aqua Talia. I've had these. Um, I bought these in December, but they're not available because I think they were at Nordstrom Rack. You can check your Nordstrom Rack, but I think they're usually past season when they once they get to Nordstrom Rack. Not sure about that. Let me know if you all know. I found several online that are very similar. They're so pretty. Let me show you those. This first ankle boot is a stacked heel just like mine and it's in suede. This next one is a leather sandal ankle boot. It comes in more colors than this. And I'd say that's probably about a three inch stacked heel, just like mine. So pretty. I love the open toe, the open side. So it's definitely one you could wear in the spring and summer also. The next one is a bit darker and I'd say it's more of a brown boot, but I just thought it was so pretty. I wanted to show it to you. It's an alternative if you want a slightly darker. It has elastic goring and it's a stacked heel. And I just think there's such a great look with jeans, with skirts, uh, especially with skinny jeans. And I like to roll the skinny jean up a bit so that you um, once in a while get a glimpse of the, you know, leg above the boot. My next is a shoe and this is, this is old. I've had these for, I don't know, probably four years, maybe three years. The color is, I believe they called it what did they call it back then? It's been so many years, I'm not sure. But it's it's a Cabernet, like a, a, a wine-colored Cabernet or Burgundy. And it's a quilted ballet flat. I love the ballet flats. This is elasticized to help fit my foot better, which I like. Um, this was by Talbots. Just really comfortable shoes. And the reason I wanted to bring up uh, colors like wine for spring, summer, or for now is because there's a new color coming out for spring that's called chili oil. But it'll look beautiful in the winter as well. So they're showing colors like this for year round wear, which I think is fun. We can get a lot more wear out of our clothing and accessories. And the thing about this, just like the ankle boot, it's a timeless shoe. The ankle boot is a timeless boot. We will be wearing these next decade, um, 20 years from now. They're, they don't go out of style. 
Valley flats look so cute with jeans. They look cute with skirts. They look great with um, maxi skirts. Just really great shoe. Let me show you some of the cute ones I found online that are available right now. The first shoe is a leather ballet flat by Tory Burch. It's elasticized on the ankle. Such a cute classic. It also comes in more colors than this. This next shoe is a gorgeous suede driving moccasin. It happens to be on sale. It also comes in more colors. I love the slightly pointed toe and that bow detail. This next shoe is a sandal in that sort of chili oil color and it's an embellished leather by Tory Burch. It comes in quite a few more colors, but I really love this color. This is a leather pump, stacked heel. I'd say, I'm not sure the heel height. I think it's about three, maybe a little bit more. It's on sale and it also comes in other colors. This sneaker is adorable. What a great option. If you've got black leggings, black workout clothes, this would look gorgeous. I love wine, burgundy, this chili oil with black. Everything I'm talking about today, I'm going to put on my blog with the links, and then I'll put the link to my blog down below. It will say all item links. So you can always find everything I talk about in a video or what I'm wearing or my makeup. All of that is always on the corresponding blog post. And all you do is click on the link below that says all item links and it takes you right to that blog post. Going back to ankle boots, I also found these gorgeous leather ankle boots in that chili oil or wine color. It has elastic goring, making it really easy to fit your foot. And it also comes in more colors, but I just thought that was such a pretty, pretty boot with that great, comfortable stacked heel. Staying in the category of wine or brownish red, I wanted to show you this handbag. Uh, I ended up buying it not ex at the exact same time I bought the shoes, but once I got one, I can't remember which I got first, I decided to get the other one. So this was also from Talbot's. So just something to keep in mind. It's really nice to have coordinating, especially in neutrals. And this is definitely in the neutral family. Same with the camel color. I love getting uh, a bag and belt to get uh, to go with my camel items, or did I say camel? I guess you could call this camel or cognac. Light brown, camel, cognac, they all in the same family, I guess. Guess, I'm not really sure what color this was. But, um, it's a crossbody bag, a shoulder bag, and I love bags that are multi-purpose, so you can wear it a shoulder, crossbody. Some, you know, also have a handle, so you can wear it like that over the crook of your arm. But I found some cute ones online that are in that chili oil or wine, brownish wine color. Let me show you this. This is a very understated classic shape in a shoulder bag that also works as a crossbody. They're all classics. So you know you'll be wearing these for years to come. That's what I love about classics. That's why I like collecting items that are classic. I, I know I'll get a lot of use out of them. They're not the kind that you buy and wear for one season and then give away or sell or toss because they're out of style. These don't go out of style. I, this is three or four years old and you know it's very usable today and it will continue to be all of these will so that's that's what I emphasize on my channel it's it's a, just a great way to build your wardrobe or if you're starting out or starting over think about the classics to start with and and these are some great ones next I'm moving into clothing and this is a true classic this is a crew neck 
t-shirt. Now it comes in a bunch of colors. Let me see, how many does it come in? Nine colors. I was looking and looking. I have been looking for a good crewneck t-shirts. Never found one that fit me well. And usually they weren't truly a high crew neck. You couldn't see them under other crew neck sweaters. This was the first one that I could see it under crew neck sweaters, cardigans. It fit me well. It's a beautiful material. It's Pima cotton, the best there is. It's a soft, um, just beautiful feeling fabric. It's thick, substantial, so you don't have to worry about your under things showing through. It also has a, a hem, what they call a smile hemline, so you can wear it out, but you can see it's really long, so you can wear it with your low slung jeans and not worry that it's going to come untucked. You can tuck it in or wear it out. The other top I wanted to mention is this top I'm wearing. And this is both, it's cotton, and it's both silver threads and gold threads. I don't know if you can tell on camera here, but it's, it's actually a plaid. And it's more sparkly probably in these lights than it is in daytime, which is why it looks wonderful in the evening in candlelight. Uh, it looks very dressy but you could also dress it down with jeans, white jeans and flats or white jeans and gold sandals. I'll show it to you at the end of the video dressed up. In fact, everything I'm showing you, I will show you in outfits at the end of the video. This one is just such a pretty, pretty blouse. Now I have it turned up so it's more bracelet length, but because this plaid, silver and gold thread plaid is fairly understated. You could wear this under a black suit to work because in daylight it's not as sparkly. But it's also a popover, which means the buttons are only halfway down. You actually pull this over your head. This popover is oversized, I found out, because there was only one left in the store and so I thought, I know it's not going to fit, it's too small, it's not my size, but I'll try it on to see how I like it. And I was shocked that it fit me. And so I asked the salesperson and she said it's because um, their popovers, and maybe this is the case with many popover shirts, are generally oversized. So if you're interested in this shirt, you might size down one or two sizes if you want it more fitted. I size down Let's see, I believe this is, I size down once, maybe I size down two sizes. I'm usually a, an extra small. No, I think I size down one size. This is an extra, extra small. If that's not right, I will correct it on the screen. So size down one size, size if you want it more fitted. Let me show you what it looks like on me. So that's my tops. Now for my sweaters. I talked about a crew neck sweater. Here's a great one. Gray crew neck sweater. This is a lightweight cashmere blend. This I've had for probably four years. It's, it's old, but um, one I will wear forever. Because it's warm in the summer here, we get in the 90s and you know mid to high 90% humidity, so I don't wear something like this in the summer because it has cashmere in it. But fall, winter, and into part of our spring, I will be wearing this, and I love it with a crew neck t-shirt underneath. I'll show you how I wear this at the end of the video, or how I styled it. Now, because it's four years old, this particular one isn't available, but I found a bunch online that are available, so let me show you those.
This next sweater is another classic and that is a cable or a chunky cotton cardigan. I have been looking for an ivory or off-white chunky cotton cardigan for quite some time and when I found this one I knew I wanted it. Uh, this particular one is sold out. It was available and then I checked again yesterday and it is sold out. Uh, I think there are a couple of sites there, it was in several colors and most of the colors are sold out so I'm not even going to talk about it but it, it um, I did find several really cute ones online that are very similar what I love about the chunky knits is they're oh, they're so comfortable they hide any lumps and bumps they look fantastic with jeans you can wear them with a variety of, especially when they're a cardigan, you can wear them with a variety of different types of tops. Uh, it can be a crew neck tee, it can be a v-neck, it can be another sweater underneath, it can be a turtleneck. Just a great, great uh, classic style of sweater and I love cotton because then I can wear it longer here up north you can even wear something like this in the summer on cooler days. Let me show you the cute ones I found online that are available. And my last clothing items are my jeans. I bought two pairs of jeans and these are high rise. I am so happy that the high rise waist is coming back. We're seeing it in skirts, in pants, in jeans. It's such an elongating look, especially if you're like me and you have um, a, high, a long torso and shorter legs. Um, the higher waist is so welcome. I got it, this particular skinny jean in black and in that brownish wine or red, brownish red or wine color. These are jeggings. Um, they were from Talbots. I've got these in white. I bought last summer. I have them in a medium wash jean. I have them in a dark gray color. How many is that? That's So I've got five. That's how much I like these high waist skinny jeans. They're just so comfortable. They stretch, but they don't show things underneath. You know how some are so thin that you can see your skin practically underneath. These aren't like that. Let me tell you the lengths. They come in, that's the other great thing. They come in several different lengths. 26.5 inch, 29 inch or 31 inch. I'm holding the 29 inch and I'll show you how I wear both of these. Um, you can roll them up a little bit or wear them down. I do both. Just a great pair of jeans. This color you can wear it year round and it's a great alternative if you want a dark bottom but you don't want to do black or you don't want to do a dark wash navy jean. So this is the one I turn to. It looks beautiful with white and black. This, as you can see, these two colors go great together. But when you start pairing them up with the handbags that are available or the shoes that are available that are in very similar color, that's really nice because it elongates the look further. But even a black shoe, a black flat with this is elongating because it's very, you know, it's just sort of in the same tone of darkness. So black shoes look terrific with this color. If you're wondering, what color do I wear with it? Another color that looks fantastic with this is shoes and boots in this color. I've worn these jeans with uh, camel or uh, cognac flats, driving moccasins, and a camel cognac colored bag I have, very similar color to this. My last item is a lipstick. This is by Gabrielle. It is, I've had this for probably two years, so it's not new. But the reason I'm bringing it up now is 
It's a favorite of mine that for some reason I've never thought to talk about in a favorites video. I think I did wear it in my, I think in my second favorites video I ever did, which was probably about two years ago. Maybe not that long ago, but a year and a half ago. I wear it full color like I am right now for more dressy looks or more striking makeup look. But the other day I was heading to the grocery store and running errands. I didn't have any makeup on. I had just shea butter on my lips. So I just swiped a little bit of this on and it made my lips look that sort of dark, like they were the lips of a 10 year old girl. You know those little kids, how when we're little we have great color in our lips and then as we get older for some reason it fades? Well, it gave me little girl lip color. I thought that was so fantastic. So you don't have to do it this dark. But that's why I like these brownish toned wine colors. They're such a great neutral and it goes with a lot of colors, interestingly enough. And it's really moist, this particular one. I've had this on for probably an hour, maybe longer, and it is still moist. Color is long lasting. I don't know what this line of lip colors by Gabrielle is called, but just a great, I have several in this line. I love the intensity of the color, but also how moisturizing they are. I, you know, I blotted off the lip, the uh, shea butter that I applied when I first started my makeup before I put this on. And because I don't need the shea butter and I didn't want to thin it out and it goes on beautifully. So I believe that's all my favorites. I hope you liked this video. As I said earlier, everything I mentioned in the video will be on my blog with links, all those items I showed that are available on my blog and that link to my blog will be down below. It will say all item links. If you're not a subscriber to my blog, please consider subscribing because my subscribers find out first when I post a new video, when I post a new blog post. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will talk to you in my next one. Bye.